that brings us to our <clears throat> superintendent's report, item number 11, and I'll turn it over to Dr. Milton. Uh, thank you, Mr. Gant. Thank you, board members. Ms. Reese, I need to have Faith give us a few tips because she's a <laughs> difficult act to follow. I'll see if I can be more Faith-like. Uh, my first report is a huge congratulations. School improvement councils are so important to the success of School District 5. Katrina and I, Ms. Goggins and I found out Friday afternoon very late that School District 5 is fortunate to have two schools in the running to be finalists as a T Dick and Tunkey Rally Award winners. So congratulations for making it to this round. There are 11 schools in the state, across the state, that are still um, in the run for this award of the Dick and Tunkey Rally Award. Congratulations to Chapin Middle School and congratulations to Dutch Fork High School. I see Mr. Moore is up here tonight <laughs> representing Dutch Fork High School. I don't know if there's anyone here from Chapin Middle, but if, if there are, please stand so we can applaud both of those critical in, uh, organizations that lead our parents and our community. Congratulations to both schools so far. <laughs> to be among 11, that prestigious award, that is quite celebratory. Thursday night, we held a magnet fair, the second of the year, the second and final magnet fair of the year, and I'm proud to announce we have broken yet another attendance record. So it seems every time we make a record, we break it the next time. So I celebrate the work of each of our magnet school teams to make sure that they are doing things that are celebrating their programs, but attracting our community so that we can learn more. Mrs. Goggins and her team are working on um, bringing the survey results into us so we can review the surveys to make sure that we are reflective and also responsive to the results that we get back, but we know that we're going to have celebratory results, and we look forward to that. For the community and for the board to be reminded now, we are in the midst of open houses where families get to actually go visit the schools individually to see the programs that are being offered, to have tours, to have questions answered individually in those schools, and then the application process gets underway. So anyone interested in participating with the choice process in School District 5, please be sure to visit our website, be sure to call our magnet office and know those time frames as events that we have coming up because we are on a very aggressive schedule at this time of the year. But we invite people to the open houses. We invite people to be informed. But if you have any questions, our magnet office stands ready to be in support. Mr. Gant, the third and final report that I have this evening is in regard to our facility study. Uh, Mr. Richardson and I had the opportunity on December the 20th to meet with representatives from MBCon. And we are preparing for them to come and actually give a presentation to the board of the complete study to this point. For the community to know there's not going to be any priorities that have been assigned, we felt like instead it's important for the board and the community to hear what is the comprehensive report, what were the findings, and what is it that we're going to need to do next moving forward to the next phase of this study. The three themes that we have asked them to focus their results on, the first would not be surprising to anyone. Safety and security is the first theme. The second theme is instructional equality, or instructional equity, I should say. And the third will be facilities updates, but also inclusive of renovations. So those three themes, safety, security, instructional equity, facility updates, but also renovations will be the three themes that things will be categorized under. But the board will re receive a report on each of the schools that were visited, because of course this included the entire district with this study. Uh, Mr. Gant, that completes the superintendent's report this evening. Thank you, Dr. Melton. We'll look forward to those reports. <clears throat> that brings us to item number 12, which is public participation.